My name is Shona Duncan. We're a family business. We are six partners, me and my husband, my mother and father-in-law and um, my father-in-law's cousin and his wife. We have a farm at the north end of Loch Lomond, um, which is ground to 3,000 feet, about 1,000 ewes um, and a small herd of cattle. And we have a farm on the east side of Loch Lomond near Drimmon, where we've got another thousand or so sheep and a couple of hundred suckler cows. We are currently looking at um, ways to diversify. The older generation are thinking about getting out of the business, so, which leaves just Bruce and I. Um, we initially thought we would go diversify by going into some glamping pods. We have applied for planning permission. We've applied for leader funding. We've uh, we have got our leader funding, um, but not planning permission. Our farm at the north end of Lomond is has got huge tourism potential. Um, there's three Monroes on the ground. There's a currently a derelict cottage in the midst of it all. That whether we turn that, we'd like to turn that in maybe into a bothy. I thought it would be nice to have a home produced meat in our glamping pods and barbecue packs, breakfast packs. So we this summer we started a Facebook page um, and just started selling initially to family and friends meat, lamb, hogget, mutton and that's kind of taken off so supplying through Neighbour Food um, which is an online marketplace and Great British Food Hub. Looking into 2020 um, hopefully either our appeal um, to our planning application is going to be successful. It would be nice to think that we could be up and running by the start of the season if we got planning permission and hopefully as they expand the meat business. I've been coming from the meetings from the start and yes, lots of ideas. The sort of branding and getting a launching a sort of social media platform. I've got you know launched well Instagram. I didn't do Instagram until one of the meetings, so we've started that. My top tip for folk coming to the meetings is to come along and see how other folk are doing things. There's lots of ideas out there that you might not have even thought of that you could be doing on your own farm.